club Wickham need to start winning and soon. Without a win in nine, Wanderers welcome the Walsall team who'd lost their last three away games. There's no doubt Gary Waddock has had an impact since his arrival at Adams Park. Two draws in the last two indicate that, and visiting Walsall have lost their last three away from home. Scott Davis, on loan from Reading, scored twice before half-time. The first a free kick that totally bamboozled Clayton Ince in the Walsall goal. Davis doubled his personal tally before half-time. Another classy strike finishing off a flowing move as League One's bottom team dared to dream of a first victory since mid-August. But Waddock's dreamers were given a rude awakening in a disastrous second half. Steve Jones started the fight back. The Northern Ireland international continued his rich vein of form. This was his fourth goal in three games. Whatever Sadler's coach Chris Hutchings said at half-time definitely worked. This corner with just ten minutes remaining caused chaos before skipper Mark Hughes stuck it in the top corner, just like his more illustrious namesake used to do it. And if that was good, it got even better for Walsall with just three minutes left. Alex Nichols completing an unlikely comeback that left Wickham on their knees and Warwick with a lot of work to do to turn things around.